all right um there is a viral video that is going um, around the internet as i am talking to you right now that video is number one trending on twitter all right um today is second july 2019 and um time check here it's 11 43 pm so um the video the story is actually trending on twitter about a senator all right assaulting um, and beating up a lady in an uh, adult um, sex shop let me put it that way so um, he's actually a lawmaker representing Adamawa North Senatorial District um, Senator Elisha Abo so he has said that the incident portrayed in the video showing him beating up a lady in a sex toy shop occurred in March 2019 um, so, Abo, in a brief chat with um, Punch, Punch News, um, on Tuesday, um, that the story um, got viral. Okay, so while he was responding to the question from Punch, um, he said that he was putting up a team together and he would give response very soon. So, um, Abo also said, um, "Hello, Eniola. I saw your message and I am aware of the report." I am putting up my team together and I'm aware that the thing um, happened around March this year but I will get in touch with you when we finish the discussion I am in a meeting so I'm gonna share that video for you uh, the full video I'm gonna share it for you guys uh, to see everything how um, it transpired for that incident to happen so um, Abo had um, attracted a lot of um, criticism from a large section of Nigerians after being caught on that video slapping the lady was actually a nursing mother okay repeatedly um, at that shop so um, okay let me give you a brief history of um, Elisha Abo he actually um, defeated a respected senator Binta Gaba to image as um, the winner of the Adamawa North Senatorial District. Okay, so um, the assault, which reportedly occurred on May 11, 2019, was done um, in the presence of an armed policeman, okay, who rather than assist the victim arrested her. So um, there was a policeman there. On that video, you, you are going to see everything that happened. So there was a policeman standing there. Um, I saw the when he was ordering the policeman to take her away, take her away. Okay, so um, a lot of people also condemned the act, the action of the police. Okay, so um, it was too controversy there. A lot of people were not even looking at um, the issue of um, Elisha Abo. Um, I think quite a number of people were you know, eyeing the aspect of the policeman instead of defending the lady. Um, he was actually an accomplice, all right? So Abo um, is the youngest senator in the country so far. Um, so he entered the shop, um, according to the report, he entered the shop around 6 p.m. on Monday, on May, sorry, on May 11, Saturday. So um, the young senator uh, was with three young women to purchase some adult toys. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I am not against his private life, okay? So I believe nobody is going to ask him some question what he was doing in a sex shop or sex toys shop, okay? So nobody's going to ask him that. So he has a private life to live. So, but shortly after um, they began shopping for the toys, one of the three ladies brought in by Mr. Abo um, started throwing up. So she vomited multiple times, um, prompting the shop owner to, you know, remark that the woman should have vomited outside and not inside a shop, which I believe um, anybody can do that, right? Because if if you see some irregularities especially inside your shop you have some you know uh, some understanding uh, 
even if you don't have some understanding you have some say so what actually happened or one of the lady was vomiting so the owner of the shop actually says um, she was not supposed to vomit inside okay and because since she's not a child she was supposed to go outside and vomit so um, Abo who was um, said to be um, agitated by the sudden illness of one of the ladies was said to have accused the shop owner okay so um, he actually accused the shop owner of poisoning the store AC the store air conditioner so the uh, the shop owner argument was that um, if the air condition um, had been tam contaminated other people in the shop would have also taken ill okay so um, so that was um, the only thing that um, angered Abo and the two began exchanging words over uh, the issue so the senator um, was said to have called a policeman who he then ordered to arrest the shop on now okay just like um, what I told you a lot of people are even looking at the aspect of um, the policeman action okay saying he was supposed to uh, protect us protecting the citizen um, even upon seeing the incident that happened okay so I bought also ordered him to arrest the shop owner so the shop owner quickly called um, her father to inform him that Abo had called the police over the matter and that she was about to be taken away so the shop owner's friend who had been standing nearby okay uh, the shop owner's friend who had been standing nearby tried to intervene by pleading with the second man to take things easy but was slapped repeatedly by the lawmaker so you can see um, from the video which I am going to share with you um, you will see everything that transpired there so meanwhile the video has sparked um, a lot of outrage on social media even on Twitter um, let me uh, just quickly give you some reaction of um, reaction of three people uh, this one here uh, comes from Mr. Marcos so Marcos actually tweeted that um, you can see the motor park behavior of a so-called senator Elisha Abo. So um, another Twitter user named Confident Jonah expressed shock that a policeman was a complicit in the assault. So that was another shock. Um, a lot of people were, you know, kind of being concerned. Okay. So um, for Jack Obinian, Abo must be indefinitely suspended from the nine national assembly and prosecuted with immediate effect all right so um those are some um uh, twitter reaction some people reacting to this issue all right so you have seen you have heard what actually happened so while um i'm gonna share the video with you but um because of our YouTube policy, I'm not going to play it on my channel. So um, I'm going to put a link of uh, the full video, everything that happens. Okay. I'm going to put a link for you guys to go and watch the video. And if you have watched the video already, uh, let me see um, what you think about this. All right. So do you think um, so far so good? Remember what happened? Um, uh, the raping allegation the act the pastor actually stepped down okay so um, let us see what is gonna happen because I see this other case as a national issue all right guys um this is across Nigeria so I'm gonna bring you all the follow-up of this story so if this is your first time um, if you haven't subscribed just click on that subscribe button and um, click on the bell icon so you get notified whenever i update you on this issue all right so that is it um just put in your own contribution based on uh, this case after watching the video or if you have watched the video before 
um, just put in your own contribution i will see you guys in another video